The further is a dark realm filled with the tortured souls of the dead, a place not meant for the living. That's right, folks. We are getting insidious again back at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights 2017. If you were there for 2014 and 2015, we had Insidious Chapters 1 and 2, and then in 2015, Insidious Chapters 1, 2, and 3. I am Anthony from the Knights of Horror, and we are going to get down to it. John Murdy sent us a bunch of tweets this morning about the announcement of the new Insidious maze that is going to cover Chapters 1, 2, 3, and coming soon in a theater near you, January 5th. 2018 chapter 4 this is going to be an interesting one because we haven't seen any footage of the chapter 4 yet uh, but let's break it down let's see what uh, John Murray had to say today on Twitter alright guys so John Murray did announce Insidious uh, and it, it was just awesome you know I mean uh, we got an Insidious maze before and it went out good apparently John Murray said that it was the top 5 uh, successful mazes so I'm going to read you some of the tweets he put out, and then I'll give you my thoughts of what I think about uh, the Insidious Maze and the tweets and everything. So, by the, prick, by the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked comes this way. So now that we know, uh, John Murdy actually puts that on every... Um, he puts that on every Maze announcement he's about to drop. Um, that's just kind of his way of telling us, you know, uh, here it comes, get ready, it's about to be good. Um, and then the next tweet goes on and says, This year at Universal HHN, venture beyond the further in this terrifying new maze based on the Insidious movie franchise. So, uh, if you guys didn't go back in 2014, 2015, they did a Insidious maze, and that maze was actually really cool. The first maze that they ever did in Insidious was uh, for Insidious chapters 1 and 2. And then the next following year, um, they did uh, Insidious chapters 1, 2, and 3. So those were all cool. Um... And, you know, just bringing those movies to life, it's just so, uh, like, energetic. And, it, you know, you, you're walking through the maze and you see some of the, the most uh, famous creatures throughout that movie. So that was cool to see. He goes on to say, hey, boys and ghouls, I'm at the back lot in the mazes for most of today, but I'll try to tweet more info later on about today's announcement. From then he goes, uh, did want to say that this maze is based pretty heavily on the fourth installment of the Insidious uh, franchise, which comes out January 2018. So the new Insidious movie doesn't come out until January 5th, 2018. And uh, we're going to get like a little sneak preview kind of going through this maze. He said uh, in one of the tweets, in which I'll show later, that it's kind of like a walking trailer. So you're going to get to see the new demon. You're going to get to see probably that the facade that they made is going to be based off the uh, new house probably in the movie. And um, we're going to get to just probably... He said a lot of this maze is pretty much the fourth installment of the movie. So we're going to get to see a lot of... Uh, uh, stuff before the movie even comes out. We're gonna get like a, an exclusive live-action sneak preview, which is pretty cool in my thing. Then he goes on to say that means you'll get to experience characters and elements from the film before it opens, making the maze a living trailer for the film. Like I said, um, he's trying to make it to a, like a living trailer, which I thought is really uh, super cool. Um, I thought that uh, us getting to experience that before we see the movie, or maybe even a trailer drop before September 15th comes, um, it's just going to be really cool. Um, and then he goes on to say, Hey, boys and ghouls, I have a few more minutes to tell you a little bit more about the, today's maze announcement in Cities Beyond the Further. The next tweet then goes on to say, The maze is being built right now in the Jurassic Park Q area, same location as our Halloween 2 maze last year. If you guys didn't go last year, they had the Halloween 2 um, Hell Comes the Haddonfield maze that was built there last year. Um, like I said, it's, it's in my top 10 uh, maze and, uh, my top ten mazes of HHN. Go check that video. It's a good video. But he uh, he actually put both Insidious mazes there as well when they were when they were featured uh, in 2014 2015. So it's it's cool to see the Insidious property is not leaving um, its area uh, and it's just returning back. He then goes on to say we previously did Insidious one and two in 20. Oh, I'm sorry, it was in 2013, 
And then we did one through three in 2015. Both of those mazes were extremely highly rated by our guests, top five of all time. So one and two did come out in 2013, and one and one through three came out in 2015. Um, and apparently he says that it was part of the top five mazes of all time. So that's really cool that a lot of the fans are enjoying the uh, Insidious mazes. You know, you get to bring them to life, and you get to see a lot of what's going on and stuff. So. It's really cool that the fans uh, gave awesome feedback to these mazes. He then goes on to say, I was given the script for the fourth installment of Insidious a year ago, and when I read it, I immediately knew it should be a maze. So they had, uh, he had the ma or the the script already, so he already read through it, and he, you know, with his genius mind, he brought those characters to life. He probably worked really close with uh, James Wan, who's actually the director and producer of a lot of these uh, Insidious and Conjuring films and stuff. And he immediately uh, thought, you know, this should be part of the maze for this year. So, which that's really cool that he actually brought um, Insidious Chapter Four in life um, before the movie even comes out, which I think is pretty interesting. So, and then uh, we get another tweet saying, "I don't want to say too much since the trailer hasn't landed yet, but uh, suffice or suffice it to say, great new environments, new characters, etc. So we're going to be seeing new areas, new characters." Um, if you look at the new, um, if you look at the new picture for the maze, we see a character with big fingers and like big eyes. So I'm hoping that's like the new demon that we see in this uh, uh, trailer. And I'm hoping that the, or not trailer, the maze. And I'm hoping that uh, you know they Easter egg, which he he does say that a lot of the old uh, characters will be returning. So that's cool, a little mashup of everything. He then goes on to say, if you have been on the tram and passed the site, you'll notice a new house is being built for the maze. That's from the fourth film. So the facade that they're using for the uh, new maze is actually going to be in the film. Um, he will not. He will not tell us what it's supposed to be. Apparently, it's supposed to be like a major, um, major uh, point in the film, and he won't tell us what it is yet. Uh, he said that you're just going to have to wait to the event to kind of figure out for yourself, or later on, he'll tweet us. This is what it's supposed to be about. Like I said, I'm hoping the trailer drops pretty soon. If it's coming out on January 5th, a trailer right now would be perfect. That way they can set it up for like two or three trailers. Um, he then goes on to say, can't say whose house that is, but you'll find out soon enough. There's a few more things I can tell you about the maze. That tweet right there is kind of hinting that maybe the trailer is coming out pretty soon. So um, I'm glad we might be getting a trailer for this movie pretty soon. I'm, I, I love the Insidious movies. Uh, I thought they were all good. Um, then we go. Uh, then we get Tucker and Specs will continue the tradition of being out front of the facade, interacting with the guests waiting in line. If you uh, have, if you didn't go to the mazes the last two years, Tucker and Specs are uh, these uh, paranormal investigators in the movie. Uh, they're kind of like a joke, but they're pretty. They pretty. Uh, they actually see some stuff that scares them. Uh, the old lady in the movie hires them. She knows them. They're kind of part of her team. Um, and then, uh, they were in the front of the maze 2013-2015, uh, so it's going to be cool to see them come back in 2017. Uh, the, you know, all they do is crack jokes and have like little ghost hunter finders and stuff. It's really cool to see. Um, then he goes on to say, Tucker and Specs will also be the characters for this year's nightly Twitter password that I've been doing for years. More on that later. If you don't know what the Twitter password is, he does the Twitter password every year for a, a certain maze. You go up to one of the uh, actors and you give him a password that he'll tweet every night. When you give them that password, they usually give you something exclusive. I actually have, um, it's around here somewhere, I don't know if you can see that back there, but uh, when This Is The End was one of them, I actually got a This Is The End, like a invitation from James Franco, which was really cool. Um, and they were like exclusive, so once they run out, they run out, they're limited prints and stuff. Uh, he then goes on to say, of course the Red Doors and the Further are a big part of the maze, as they are in the film series. New Red Doors for the new film. So we're going to get... Uh, so in the first movie it was red doors, then in the second movie it was still the red doors. In the third movie we got like a red kind of like elevator type thing. Um, and in this one apparently it's supposed to be something new, like a new red door or something. And the red doors indicate, um, in the maze they indicated that you're going to a different, uh, to a different movie. In the movie they indicated uh, the, the, realm, the, the realm of the dead. Um, and they indicated that you were in there, that's how you got your way around the, uh, the realm which is really cool. He then goes on to say, while a lot of the maze is from the new film, the ghosts and demons from the past Insidious film will also make an appearance in the maze. I'm really excited for that because the the one that scares me, the, the two that scared me the most was the uh, the Black Bride, which I'll put a picture up, and the Darth Maul looking demon, which I'll not put another picture up so you can get, take a look. Um, those, those demons actually were really cool looking and just to see them come to life in the maze was really cool. 
And then he says, a cruel hint, but I tweeted a pic of my keyboard earlier in the year. The N and the O were missing from typing the word insidious so much. So earlier in the year, he tweeted a photo of um, the like his N and his O missing from his keyboard, I guess from typing insidious too much. I would think at least the I would be missing because insidious has a lot of I's in it too. But um, he was tweeting uh, little teasers of it. And a lot of people were actually freaking out trying to figure out what it was, but uh, he finally gave us what it was. He then goes on to say, and lastly, just wanted to say a, an honor each time we get to work, uh, we're, we get we get to bring the work of at Creepy Puppet and at LW, or at L went I don't know how to say his last name, to life. Thanks, James and Lay. Uh, they're actually the, I think, producers and directors or writers of uh, Insidious, and um you know, they're the reason why we have um, Insidious and Conjuring and all these. So these guys actually have been a real big help with John Murdy to bring these mazes to life, which is really cool. And then he goes on to finish it up saying, And now I have to pop in the studio to look at the video elements we're creating for Insidious and other mazes. And then back out to the, into the cruel heat for more lighting walks. If I get back at anything, if I get back at anything like I like a decent time tonight, we'll do a Q&A. And that was kind of the end of the tweeting. So he just kind of gave us a whole little background of what uh, we're going to be seeing in this maze. I'm really excited for this maze. At first when they announced it, I'm like, oh, well, I don't really know anything about the fourth chapter. So what am I supposed to go off? But as I w he was sending those tweets, it got me more and more excited. So, um, guys, huge announcement. Uh, Insidious, the maze. Another huge announcement for the channel-wise. If you guys have been watching us, it's only been three videos, I know. But we've gained a lot of uh, support the HHN top 10 HHN maze is doing really good uh, it's done it's gotten a lot of views over a span of a week it's gotten over almost 130 views that's a lot for me uh, if I'm just starting this channel I, I really thank you guys for the support all the subscribers and stuff you guys just gave me nothing but kind words uh, you're going to follow me on Twitter and stuff which is really cool I mean you guys uh, who follow on Twitter I appreciate that. I have an Instagram and everything for the channel. Um, another huge announcement, uh, me and my cousin, we are going to be at uh, Halloween Horror Nights opening night, uh, September 15th. Um, so if you if you see me, uh, I don't know if you, my cousin will show his face, but if you see me, uh, um, you'll most likely meet my cousin too. Uh, if you guys see us, don't be afraid. Come up and say hello. Um, We'll probably uh, just tell us uh, you're fans of the channel and we will uh, more than likely take a picture with you or uh, just talk with you guys because we're all fans of HHN. That's why we're there. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, be sure to be on the lookout because I'm going to be putting up... Uh, they announced another maze today as I'm filming this. Uh, they announced the Blumhouse uh, maze, the, ho the Whores of Blumhouse. So be sure to stick around because that should be coming up pretty soon as well. Thanks, guys, for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.